Moving on from that, we've got to talk about the Pink Stanley Cup um, Starbucks fucking fiasco. Have you guys heard of this? This is fucking wild. So this is courtesy of NBC News. Pink Stanley Quencher Starbucks Cup release sparks mayhem at Target stores. Have you guys heard this? People in the fucking States, you guys in North America are fucking bizarre. For some reason, this fucking Stanley Cup, a special edition pink one from Starbucks, is causing legitimate queues. People fighting and resale prices that will make Supreme look like fucking dog food. Have you seen people are reselling these on fucking online? Look at this tweet. Look at this fucking tweet. People, StockX has now sold 317 Starbucks Stanley pink tumblers for a total of $51,000. People are selling these tumblers, these fucking cups for $165 plus. Are you kidding me, bro? Are you fucking kidding me? Let's read quickly the article here. It says, um, um, the, re the release of a limited edition pink version of a viral 40 ounce Stanley quencher drinking cup designed with Starbucks led to chaos at multiple target locations. Social media clips show customers in a frenzy as they tried to snatch up the products which were released as part of a rollout at Starbucks new winter menu. The cups retail for $49.95, $50 retail price and they're reselling for $165. God almighty, that's a fucking come up in a half. Um, social media clips show customers in a frenzy as they try to snatch the products. Da, 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 da. A Starbucks spokesperson said in an email that there had been an enthusiastic response to the product and that they will not be restocked once they're sold out, blah, blah, blah. Now, you know what's funny about these cups? Were you guys aware that there's a fucking boycott going on at Starbucks? I think it's to do with the Israel-Palestine war, or Israel-Palestine war, sorry. There's something about um, Starbucks being maybe pro-Israeli and there's a social media boycott on Starbucks. So you have to be really in the weeds with social media, but there's an alleged boycott of fucking Starbucks and people are alleging that this boycott is hurting Starbucks, um, you know, stocks. And I think it's down somewhat, right? I remember reading somewhere. Would you imagine how fucking clever it would be if this is true? if the fucking executives at Starbucks worked out a way to get people to buy Starbucks again by just releasing this limited edition cup. I don't think this is true. Most likely they had this in planning for a long time, but can you imagine how clever of an executive you have to be to be like, okay, cool. Everyone's fucking boycotting us because we're pro-Israeli. They're fucking calling us Zionist pigs and shit. They're saying we're fucking, you know, we are somehow, um, you know, supporting genocide. How do we fucking fix this? Okay, that's it. Special cup. You know, and now suddenly you got people queuing and fighting over these fucking cups. So let's play some of the clips because these clips are fucking crazy. Look at these fucking clips of people going crazy over these fucking stupid pink cups. I had a target for the new Stanley Starbucks cup. Yes, I know what you're thinking. It's a cup. Why, what are you doing? On the other hand, I love my daughter and we were bored. So we got there like at 1.40 in the morning and it was a ghost town because it was Target in the middle of the night. But once we saw the cup, we knew we were in the right spot. We brought the new puppy with us and just waited for people to show up and they did. So we hopped out of the car, brought the chairs and made sure we were first in line. So it was almost three o'clock in the morning and that's when people started to show up. I mean, these people are dedicated. We just watched one by one and the line was massive and it was cold. like. 40 degrees cold, but we got through it and I ordered Whataburger delivered in line. So if you know, you know, how you done? At this point, the store is about to open and look at this line. Guys, wow. are, are we okay? No, the answer is no. This lady came out to make sure we didn't burn the place down. And once the doors were open, it was go time. And for the most part, it was pretty calm. There wasn't much looting or rioting, just a few small fires. That's it. And finally, we got one. Just one, because Target's doing this one Stanley per household thing. I don't know. Either way, we're tired, we're hungry, it's over, and it's time to enjoy the sweet taste of victory. Thank you. Is that a form of child abuse to take your kid to Target at 3 a.m. in the morning to queue up for a fucking plastic cup? Is that a form of child abuse or is that just being a good girl dad? Or is that being daddy? Is that a beast of a dad that he would do this for his daughter? She, she clearly wanted a cup, so he decided to take her to fucking Target at 3 a.m., is that maybe what a beast of a dad would actually do? Or is this a form of child abuse? I think it's child abuse. I don't know what you guys think. Next video. Come with me to get the Starbucks Stanley Cup. The girl's in the queue at 4 a.m. She's got a picture of her outside, waving with her mom. I told her, I'm like, oh, okay. yeah, I know we're crazy. Don't judge us. No, 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 no. Must have been a Home Depot bucket. <laughs> Imagine queuing outside of Target. This is very white people behavior, isn't it? This is very white people behavior. I don't see any I don't see any minorities in these queues. This is proper Caucasian behavior. If you're a Caucasian out there, you should shake your head in shame. 
what the hell are you doing you guys used to be a fucking country right you used to be out there you know shooting unarmed black people as they're running down the street <laughs> you know raping and pillaging countries and shit right white collar crime right rubbing fucking banks right but here you are instead queuing outside a target white people used to be amazing remember, remember white people were white people right making pop music about fucking your sisters and shit but instead here you are outside a fucking target you white people man come on you gotta do better bro you didn't know that you were they're queuing they're probably dog. like those fools outside waiting wait i'm not liking this but it doesn't look like that many of them. It's like at least 30 to 40, 30 like they said. More people are arriving. It's so cute. Sunrise. She's sitting there chilling. All the way back. Look at that queue. Oh, wow, man. Someone lit up. Someone's got a red balloon outside Target. They're waiting again. She's wearing a pink jumper to match the cup, of course. They're running inside now. We got this. We got this. There you go. There's the cups. Two per person. You got two? If you're getting one. Honestly, this is so pathetic, bro. This is the height of consumerism, isn't it? But to be fair, what's more lame? What's lamer? What's lamer? Please let me know. Please let me know. Please let me know in the comments down below, or if you're watching this later on down, down the right. What's lamer? Um, what is lamer? What's lamer? Uh, the Supreme Brick or that fucking Starbucks cup? What is lamer? What do you think is lamer? And it's currently going for £136. A Supreme Clay Brick. Like, by queuing up to Supreme to buy a Supreme branded brick or buying a pink Starbucks Stanley Cup. What's lamer? What do you think is lamer? What's worse? The cup or the Supreme Brick? What do you think is fucking lamer? What would what would make you look like more a loser? The brick or the or the cup? People are saying queuing for anything. Okay, all of it. But Z, that's the right answer. Um <laughs> The cut by fast is Koyla. The brick is more than lame by 100,000. Okay, cool. We'll crash the cycle. <laughs> because I've... Can I admit something? Can I admit something? And you guys won't laugh at me? Back when I used to queue outside of Bape, Babing Ape store in London, in Upper James Street, right? It was a, one of the best fucking Bape stores ever, right? Really small store in Upper James Street. If you know, you know. Back in the day, I queued outside the Bape store for like six plus hours, right? I queued and ventured, I queued initially to get the chomper to chomper varsity jacket, right? This is what I queued up to get back in the day, if you guys know. I queued outside the Bape store in London back in the day to buy this Bape core I think it's cause, right? I think it was a Bape cause chomper varsity jacket. Now I'm not too sure if you guys know about this, but it's just so rare. It's fucking beautiful, right? I queued up to buy this. Right back in the day, maybe like in 2015 or so. I forgot what year. No, maybe yet. No, it might have been 2010. Maybe so so long ago. I queued up to buy this jacket, but unfortunately they only they only like sent like five to London store, so they were sold out. Right by the time I was queuing, the queue was so long. By the time I got to the front, the jacket sold out. So essentially, because I didn't want to leave the store empty-handed, guess what I ended up buying? I went to the babe store to buy the jacket. I couldn't buy it. I didn't want to leave empty-handed. Guess what I bought? Guess what I bought? Bitch, you guessed it. Bitch, you guessed it. I bought some Bape Sellotape. I queued up seven hours or something and I ended up buying Bape Sellotape. What's worse, buying Bape Sellotape or buying a pink <laughs> Starbucks cup? What's worse? <laughs> and it was like $30 or something. I bought Bape Camo Sellotape for 30 dollars and i queued up seven hours for it so what's lamer buying a pink starbucks cup a pink stanley or camo printed sellotape <laughs> i think the sellotape is lamer let's continue with the video 
girl's happy. She's smiling. I just want a video. This is funny. So many white women. Look at the white ladies there. Oh, God. All gone. They did it? They did it. Sold out. What do you think? Is it worth the hype? It's like shiny and pink. I don't even know. Why is it even pink anyway? Why is it even pink? Is that to do with like breast, breast cancer awareness or something? Starbucks is in pink, right? There's nothing pink on Starbucks logo. It's like green and white. Why is it even pink? Or is, this, or is it because of the menu? Maybe they've got something on the menu that's got pink flavoring on it. I'm, I'm not, I don't even know why this cup is pink, to be fair. She's smiling, look at two cups. More smiles. <laughs> Fleshlight. <laughs> AZ's acting like he didn't just see his mum grabbing a cup. <laughs> Lols. <laughs> oh, and this, let's do the fights. The fights are the more interesting thing. Look at people fighting over these cups. Look at this. Look at that. I love how everyone looks the same too. Look at the Uggs. Every every woman here is wearing leggings with Uggs. Either the, the mule Uggs with the thick sole, the other Uggs. I, how many boyfriends and husbands bought their wives these Uggs for Christmas? How many boyfriends, boy husbands and dads bought female people, no, women that have been their family these Uggs? These must have been so popular. This one especially, this sort of like slip one with a thick sole. <laughs> leggings and Uggs, leggings and Crocs, leggings, white women, white women, white women, white women. There's also a red one. You know, I should like, you know what? I should like the red one more. Is that red or pink? I think there's a red one there, right? There's a pink and a red one. Yeah, I actually don't mind the red one. I quite like that red one. The red one's quite nice. Limit two for guests. There you go. All finished. And then we've obviously got the fight. Let's watch the fight. Look at the fight. Look at the fight. Look at this. Look at the fight. They just, look at them. They're trying to steal. You guys, this is insane. Look at this dupe, stupid. Get him, get him. Stop him, stop him, stop him, stop him. Yes, yeah, stop him. I didn't touch him. I didn't touch him. Stop him. Stop her. Stop her. Somebody, she tried to grab my bag, you guys. Look at this, is insane. Look at this. He is insane. Look at this. Yeah. Good. No, 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 no. It's okay. We're they actually fight. They actually fought this dude. I think I've, I've got the other video here. I think he jumps behind the back in it. I think this video here, you can see him. Look, look, look. See, he jumps behind like there's a Starbucks right in in the target. He jumps behind the back and takes the whole box. And the white women try to block him. These white women are fucking crazy. These white women are fucking crazy. They try to block him. That's a good block though, isn't it? I don't play football, but I think that's a good block. For the people that play football, is this a good block or not? For those of you who play football out there, is this a good block? You're a fucking loser. That's a good block, isn't it? No, he tried to rat, he tried to steamroll him, and he said, "Nah." You're a fucking loser. Get him! Get him! Stupid! Get him! Get him! Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Yeah. That's a good block, isn't it? That's a fucking good block. Let's be real. That's a fucking good block. <laughs> Big up the dad in the flannel. Look at that. Look how low he is. Look how low he gets. Look at that. He gets fucking low. You're like, nah, mate. You're not fucking getting past me, mate. Yeah, exactly. Ducks to the flow. Good center of gravity. Look at that. Look how low he gets to the ground. That's a fucking strong dad. Big up that dad. That's a beast of a dad. Forget Brendan. That's a fucking beast of a dad. He's like, no, no, no. My daughter needs a pink cup. My daughter needs a pink cup too. You're not going to steal the pink cups, bro. That's a, that's a dad. That's a fucking girl dad. Look at that. My daughter needs a fucking pink cup. Oof. Get up, get up, stupid. Get him, get him. Stop him, stop him, stop him, stop him. Oh, anyway, the frenzy's fucking ridiculous. Um, be safe out there, kids. Be fucking safe out there, kids.